<laughs> what year is this? 2020. 2020 Nissan Frontier hard body with the, the first year 3.8 3.8 liter injected. direct injected with a nine speed automatic. And we got an oil catch can on here. Why do we got an oil catch can on this? Well, because the port injected was inject fuel on the intake valve, which cleans it off at the same time. With it's direct true. injected, the fuel gets injected straight on top of the cylinder. So all your PCB gases gets routed into the into the intake, gets collected inside the plastic intake, which have little kind of pockets. It gets selected on the pocket, gets sucked in through the intake valve, gets built up around the intake valve, and if you don't do anything about it, eventually you, you're going to start having check engine lights, misfire codes, and stuff like that. So there's been a great discussion about the cash cans and, <laughs> and, and what they do. Okay? What they do is the PCV valve, which is right here, this hose falls it down, goes into the cash can, traps the the oily vapors how much are you collecting in the, in the um, oil change at a 5000 mile interval in, in, in when i drain this i get about a quarter of a quart okay so you'd normally be sucking that down the intake it would be stuck inside the intake and it gets collected around the intake valve so your spark plugs would have to burn that motor oil or it's going to puddle up and collect until it gets sucked in there now those direct injectors the port injectors spray fuel on the intake valves and clean them and the direct injectors are basically under the intake valves so the, what's happened here is in the early days the, they didn't recommend any service and the the valves would get stuck and the injectors get clogged and cause all kinds of problems and so then we need to replace injectors so now that they've learned that what happens they want to do old school fuel injection flushes through the vapor hoses, like a booster hose, to clean the intake ports and which the intake valves, which the old port injectors used to do for you, because now they're not getting any of that uh, fuel on there that's gonna clean them as it goes through. So with this one, we do it every 15,000 miles where we introduce chemical through this port here, which is sucking into the intake. Direct vacuum. And a direct it to all six cylinders, and and, and that it, cleans your ports and your valves, and that it minimizes that buildup. Yes, and that if you have any direct injected engine, you're going to want to perform that kind of service every fifteen thousand miles. Yeah, we say years. every fifteen thousand. The dealers are now definitely going at least a minimum or a maximum yeah, of like thirty thousand yeah. uh, on on the same vehicles that and engines that they had before that they weren't recommending service because so many warranty and engine problems because those valves are getting stuck and those injectors are they <laughs> they're more efficient but they have their problems anyway so catch can uh hey you can either eat that oil or you can collect it and, and keep your it. keep it from you know carbonizing the top of your pistons and it's about <laughs> a quarter of a quart with this it would be about almost a half of this can yeah that's how you get carbon buildup and detonation on your piston tops and pre-ignition and stuff like that so good way to help your inside your internals stay cleaner run better uh get more longevity uh if you like to take care of your stuff otherwise you can forget we'll about it you. you break to us and we'll see you i'll fix him <laughs>